this video might be a little random for some of you, but I really wanted to make a video dedicated to my favorite, best of the best, top of the line, must have tried and tested Apple accessories because I get so many questions, so many comments, so many DMs asking me what case is that, where do you get that laptop stand, where do you get that keyboard, do you recommend it? So I figured just answer all those questions in one video and share with you guys my favorite Apple accessories from cases to stands to mini electronics like keyboards and speakers. So this is basically an Apple accessories favorites video but of course before we begin if you have not yet subscribed to this channel I would love to have you be a part of a little family so make sure that subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it to get notified every single time I post a video Saturday 2 p.m. and sometimes Wednesdays and Tuesdays <laughs> The first accessory for the MacBook is dun, 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 this clear case. I love clear cases because I get to decorate my MacBook. So this is how, sorry if I'm looking here, my monitor is here, but this is how I decorated it. I added Polaroids of my dogs. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that I'm very obsessed with my dog. And I love this case specifically because it was very affordable and it doesn't add a lot of weight to my MacBook because there are some cases that are very bulky. Definitely recommend this case. Next accessory, I don't know if you can see it but it is this it is a webcam cover at the very top and I definitely recommend that you get a webcam cover just for security purposes I'm pretty sure we all we all have heard the warning also super duper important for me at least now that we are doing online classes because I have this like I have this paranoia that zoom will just glitch and turn on my camera without me knowing so having a webcam cover is great because on the off chance that zoom does glitch and turns on your camera without you knowing even though you turned it off at least you're safe and you won't be exposed the next two accessories for the MacBook are these dongles these hubs so this first one is a five-in-one hub USB-C hub it has one USB-C port two USB ports one SD card and then one micro SD card and I love this style of hub because it just looks so sleek like look at that like it matches the Apple aesthetic I think it just looks so cute and looks so like professional and just sleek the downside to this though is that I think it has gotten loose over time. I've had this for around two years and it's super sensitive now. Like if I connect it to my MacBook and I move even like the slightest bit, it'll disconnect which is really annoying especially when I'm like importing and that is also why I bought a separate one. This hub is specifically just for SD card so it has one slot for an SD card and then one slot for a micro SD card and I love this because number one it was way more affordable number two it's super fast. Like it imports super fast, it's insane. And number three, it's way less sensitive than this one. By the way, I couldn't find this one online. I bought this from an Apple store and I have no idea why I can't find it online. So instead, I put a hub from this brand. But yeah, I definitely recommend. Now for my favorite type of accessory, girl. If you've been watching my videos, you know, you know what's coming up. A stand. I have tried a lot of laptop stands and this one is my favorite because it's made of really great material. There's there's some weight to it. It's made from, I think this is aluminum. Super sturdy and I also love how sleek it looks because a lot of the other laptop stands out there just have so many things going on. They have so many like nuts and bolts and this is super great number one for posture because it's so elevated. The MacBook screen is now at eye level so I don't have to slouch and crouch. Number two, it's great for cooling your MacBook and number three, it's more flattering because your MacBook will be elevated. The angle is way more flattering for Zoom calls. The only downside to this though is because it's so elevated I find that when I'm on my MacBook for more than three hours my wrists start to hurt because of course it's elevated so my wrists are like this instead of like this I feel like that demonstration did not do anything basically if I'm on my MacBook for more than three hours my wrists start to hurt which is why I have another laptop stand this one there's a comparison it's way less elevated so it doesn't hurt my wrists this one is also more portable so that was my solution number one to this being too elevated my solution number two is this is to get a separate keyboard and I'm obsessed 
obsessed with this. This is the Logitech K380 wireless keyboard and I love how sleek and basic it looks. And I love this because it connects super fast. It has three buttons here on top, the gray ones. Basically, you program it to connect to your devices. So for example, if I press number one, it connects to my iPad. Number two, it connects to my MacBook. And number three, it connects to my iPhone. So it's super convenient because you can literally switch devices and it'll take like literally two seconds to connect to the new device. So my first favorite accessory for the iPad is this. We're starting with the case, of course, again. This one is a combination of everything I love from these three. Let me go through these one by one. I still definitely recommend each of these. They're all from ESR. They're all really great quality. So this one is the first case. It's a trifold case. I love how it has a specific case. Can you see it? There, there, there. A specific case for the Apple Pencil. The thing is, if your Apple Pencil has a case, it won't fit here. I love my Apple Pencil case, so I was not willing to sacrifice that. And then we have this case. This case, I really liked how it has a flap for the Apple Pencil. However, what I don't like about this case is that it doesn't have an actual backing. As you can see over here, it's literally just a magnet. There's no border. I was just not comfortable with that. Like, I was just so paranoid that my iPad would just like randomly slip. Lastly is this case. This one is the most basic case. And I really like how this case is clear because as you guys can tell, I love decorating my devices with Polaroids. However, there's no slot for the Apple Pencil and there's no magnetic cover. This one is my favorite one because it has all the things I love. Just like the last case, the back is clear. So as you can tell, I have Polaroid photos. And just like the first case, it actually has a backing. And just like the second case, it has a flap for my Apple Pencil. So this is the perfect case. The next accessory for the iPad is an Apple Pencil. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend that you get the original Apple Pencil, especially if you plan to use your iPad for writing or drawing. The Apple Pencil was made for the iPad, so the precision, the pressure sensitivity, it's all there, it's perfect. So if you want to maximize your iPad, utilize all its features, definitely get the Apple Pencil. The next accessory is the case. I love the design. I think it's so cute. It's a pink gradient case. I personally like having a case on my Apple Pencil just because it makes the Apple Pencil gentler to hold because I grip my pens super tight when I write. And then, of course, we have an iPad stand. It's way bigger than a regular iPhone stand. And when I use this, I am confident that it'll support the weight of my iPad and it's not going to topple over. So definitely recommend this. We're going to start with cases, of course. Out of all the accessories I included in this video, these two take the cake for most inquiries. Every single time they're seen in a YouTube video or in an Instagram story, I get so many questions. My number one tip when purchasing cases for your iPhone, quality trumps quantity Ooh, Trump. instead of buying 30 cheap cases for your iphone i suggest just invest your money and buy two really good quality ones because they're gonna last you way longer the quality is way better and you're not producing as much waste which is great for mother earth these are my two cases one is more casual and one is more formal so these two are essentially the only cases that i need so we'll start with this one this one is a leather case i think it's safiano leather from maison de sabde i I love this because it just looks so sleek and I actually just fangirled recently I think like last week Addison Ray <laughs> posted an Instagram story where she was holding her own Maison de Sabre case and I was like oh my god we're twinning it's super cute they actually sent this to me almost a year ago this next one is from case to and this was actually my first case to case and girl after trying it for like a day I was like I see what the hype is about like I get why like everyone buys case to cases this one specifically is from the Bodle Jane collab. I think it's absolutely adorable. What really amazed me about the case is just the quality. This is a protective case and what I love about Case Defy's protective cases compared to all the more affordable ones out there is that it offers great protection without being bulky. Trust me, it's tried and tested. I'm a very clumsy person. I drop my phone at least once a day and it's it's still working. It's still in great condition. So I definitely recommend k 
case to five cases and of course we have an iPhone stand I love this one because it is way more elevated than my old iPhone stand it's also adjustable which is great and you can angle it the next accessory isn't specifically for the iPhone but I use this the most with my iPhone this is a speaker and I love it because it's sleek <laughs> because it's so tiny like it doesn't take up a lot of space it looks very basic very minimal which again I'm all about this is from Xiaomi and even though it's tiny girl she is loud and it connects super fast as well yeah definitely recommend this next accessory I swear when I saw these my heart melted so I went a little crazy and I actually bought six and they're so adorable basically you just attach them to the end of your wire and then look how cute that is Super recommend it. I have broken so many apple cords because the the tip always just like gets so weak that it like opens up and it's like broken. So this is great for maintenance to just ensure that your cords do not break. We are down to our last two accessories and these are for the AirPods and the Apple Watch. I only have one accessory for each. For the Apple Watch, we have this and this is a Casetify watch strap. I'm pretty sure this is Safiano leather as well. I'm obsessed with this. Not with the color. <laughs> Let me explain. So we might be looking at this and be like, Raya, have you no sense of style? It was a while ago. I was super into the Gucci look and I wanted like a Gucci watch strap. So I got a red and green one. Honestly, I really regret it very 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 much I wish I just ordered like a regular black or white or nude one but anyways color aside style choice aside <laughs> I love the quality of these bands it's still great quality even after being exposed to sweat and water and heat Last, we have an airpods case and I just like it because again it's very affordable and the quality is great it protects my airpods from getting scratched so that's it for today's video I think I have 50 minutes worth of footage what we are definitely gonna cut that down to 12 to 16 minutes but if you guys stay until the end you're a real one i love you if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you next saturday no this saturday i'll see you this saturday 2 p.m bye girl